Oh Kelly, my you god. said no red hair. Why did you do that? Oh, oh my god, she's getting mad. You're pissing her off. Okay, she left and then she stepped back. Yeah, she like stepped back in. <laughs> that was oh weird. In 1898, Hiram Clay built a mansion as a gift for his second wife, Helen Kellogg, after his first wife passed away. In 1921, Hiram died in the home, but Helen lived another 42 years before she died in the very same home. Helen was said to be someone people did not want to be around. Before they met, Helen and Hiram would send letters back and forth as they were distant cousins who fell in love. Hiram told her that he would marry her as long as she did not have red hair. So they met up, got married, and then Helen later revealed her bright red natural hair color. This was the start of a very toxic marriage. Helen did not like Hiram's daughter that he had with his first wife. And then one day, as Hiram's daughter was walking down the stairs, Helen took a frying pan to the back of her knees, sending her plunging down the steps. Helen's spirit is said to still be there, ruling over her previous home from the afterlife. Hey Kel Cats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. I am here with Ashley, Adventures with Ashley, and we are in a super freaking haunted old house. We got access to it, I'm super excited, so big shout out to the Heritage Museum of Orange County. This is the Kellogg House, and no, it's not the cereal. What did they make? They made the 91 Freeway, they built a lot of things here in Orange County. I guess the husband, he built this home for his wife, Helen. There's like a lot of stories, like a lot of like, I don't know, there were a lot of things that happened in this home, a lot of energy. So she took us around, she showed us like everything and she's had a lot of paranormal experiences in this house as well, like a lot. Her dog was here earlier and was staring at things and barking at things and it was really interesting but i guess we're just gonna start in this room i probably said some of the history before we came in but there is a man in this room it was weird because she was like kind of just telling us about things that happened and i was like do you know if like there's a man in this room and she was like yeah this was actually the uh billiard room billiard room right i don't know if i'm saying that right this is like the man the man cave is basically what she said and her dog was staring over here and I look and I see this man standing here with a mustache. He had this long dark coat on and he was like standing in the doorway. So I told Jamie that he was standing in the doorway and she said that it's so weird because they always see him in this doorway, like passing it or standing in it, like they always see him here. So that was like really weird. I know he kept whimpering, like just staring yeah, at the Yeah, the dog the was staring like, at him. Yeah, it was pretty intense. So I really want to talk to him. He made this house for his wife. They didn't have a very great relationship. I guess there was a lot of like, I don't know, different factors. Like, I guess they were long distance cousins, right? And they got married. <laughs> that's so weird. Isn't that weird? Like they were like, they had the same last name and stuff or something. So that's kind of strange. He had a different wife that he was really in love with and she passed passed away. I, I believe he had a daughter with her and Helen did not like the daughter. Like she, when the daughter, oh my god my throat's getting all choked up. Oh my god it's like Helen doesn't like me talking about this. But it's like when her daughter was walking down the stairs she took a frying pan and hit her on the back of the legs and she flew down the stairs. Later in life, her leg had so much damage, internal damage, that it had to be amputated. So Helen caused that with this young woman that was um, her husband's daughter. What else happened? <clears throat> God, it's like Helen's mad at me or something. Like I can't breathe. Like they say that Helen wasn't a very nice lady and I did get that vibe right when we walked in. It was like, why are you in my house? Like super heavy by the stairs, the dog was whining and stuff. So I don't know, what do you feel in this house? It feels heavy in certain rooms. Yeah. I felt that 
the boys' room that they turned into the playroom. Mm -hmm. That feels really, so heavy. really weird to me. Yeah, and that's where I had, so actually I didn't say this. Um, I came here when I was young, when I was in like maybe fourth grade, maybe third grade, something like that. And we came here on a field trip. This is how I know about this house. I remember going in that playroom and having a paranormal experience with a young girl. I don't know, I thought about it and stuff, and I remember seeing things in here when I was young that I didn't understand what they were. So that's why I contacted this home and wanted to come back. So we're back and we're gonna talk to some of the spirits. I wonder if any of them okay, remember me. That's up on, like up above on the ceiling. What is that? I don't know. It's hard to tell with the fingerprints oh, on yeah. there, but. No, that's weird. Wait, zoom in more. It oh, almost looks like a face. Look Doesn't it. it almost look like a face? Kind of. With like a hat? Maybe. What the heck? That's so creepy. All right, we're reaching out to Hiram. I know that you kind of wanted my attention earlier, but we were in the middle of something. If Hiram's here, you can come forward, come through. I just saw him over I there, like walking shadow. towards us. I saw a shadow. Really? Like yeah, like I literally saw him like walking. Are you able to touch this device in front of us? seeing stuff over here. I feel like I can feel the energy. Yeah, it's like getting heavier. I feel like he's kind of staying away from us, but he's curious. Yeah, he's kind of just like... Can feel us out. Yeah, <laughs> see what like we're doing here. We don't want to be disrespectful in any way. We just want to talk, see if you want to come communicate with us. So I'm going to use the spirit box. If you guys want the spirit box, the link is down below in my description. Oh, oh now... <laughs> It's a, it's a touching. Yeah, I heard Are it. You touching it, Hiram? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can communicate with us using that device. My name is Kelsey. This is Ashley. We would love to communicate with you if that's okay. You have a beautiful home. Can you make that beep? There's a couple people here. Can you tell me who else is here with us? What's your name? Hi. Do it say Helen or am I? Oh, maybe. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that Helen? Thank you. Can you lighten up for us if you're here? I don't feel like she hates us. She's just like, I don't know, weird about what we're doing. She's just like, why are you here? And why are you? And like Jamie said, there haven't been like hardly anyone here because of the pandemic. Yeah. So maybe she's just kind of like confused. Like, why are you here? All yeah. Time? And she doesn't like that we're talking to her husband. <laughs> He's too young. Yeah. She's like, Kind of weird about us. And we're brunette, his type. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Apparently, his type was brunette, and she had like red hair, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Helen, oh my God. you said no red hair. Why did you do that? Oh, oh my God, she's getting mad. You're pissing her off. <laughs> So the story was like he wanted to marry her so they were writing letters back and forth I guess and he kind of just said hey if you come out to California Come meet me at the train station. I will marry you under one condition that you do not have red hair Yeah, and then they got married and then she took off her like bonnet or whatever she had I just heard like but she took it off and she had like bright red hair. So that was like the start of like their, you know, not very good relationship that they had. There was a lot of like cheating. There was, it was just, I feel like it wasn't meant to be, you know, it was just kind of like forced. From the start, from the start. It yeah, it just was not meant to be. Is the young girl I saw earlier here with the blonde hair? Hi. Saw her like peeking out from there earlier and she had super bright blonde hair. Helen, if that's you, can you make the sound stop? 
If it's the little girl, can you make it stop? Oh my gosh. So Jamie was telling, Jamie's the one she took us on a tour. Jamie's the one that got us into like this to film and stuff. Like she kind of manages right the yes. house. So Jamie said that there was a little boy here. They always do school tours. That's how I, you know, found him. And there was a little boy upstairs and he like said, I thought no one was allowed in the attic. And she was like, no one is allowed in the attic. And he was like, well, why is she up there? And he was pointing and she didn't see anything. And then he started crying because like she didn't see anyone. I don't know, it was just weird. He said it was a little girl like up there. And I think that's the same little girl that I saw when I was little here too. She wants us to go upstairs. She just keeps pointing. <laughs> She's like, point, point. I guess we could walk around downstairs, then we'll make our way upstairs. She really wants us to go upstairs for some reason. So I forget what this is called, but it was something like a memorial reef or something, and this is actually hair. It's all made out of human hair. Usually from like, I don't know, the family or the person that passed, like they make, there's another one over here. They have a bunch of these and that's all human hair and then they say that they have really weird experiences like with this picture for some reason they feel like something's with it and they could not figure out who was in that wheelchair right there in the photo they said like it always makes emf meters go off and stuff like that oh, i didn't bring an emf meter oh look look that thing's swinging uh -huh. that was it why is it swinging i don't know I didn't touch it, right? No. No. That was weird. Right when I'm talking about the photo. I know. That's kind of creepy. And this is Helen up here. And this is another, um, uh, I keep forgetting what it's called, Memorial Reef with the human hair. But yeah, earlier I kept seeing someone peeking from behind this corner and I thought that this went back but they had to have been standing like inside of the wall to be peeking their head out. They were like this tall, like not, I don't know if they were hunched over or what. Jamie told us that this clock chimes by itself too, like out of nowhere. I don't know if it had anything to do with whoever I saw peeking out from here or what. And a tragic thing happened in here. So there was wax, like someone was boiling wax or something. Um, Hiram was, that's right. Mm -hmm. So Hiram was boiling wax and the wax kind of boiled over. The wax caught fire. He went outside to go and get the hose to like get the fire out and he slipped and fell on the wax and his whole side of his face like burned. Yeah, I remember when I was little, we came here and churned butter. That was like, I was so excited. I think this house was built in the early 1800s. That one's Hiram, this guy right here. But yeah, Helen, so when she got older, she had lived a pretty long life. It's not as heavy in here as it was earlier. Isn't that weird? It's kind of like she's not in here or something. But she died in this room. I saw a lady, like, it kind of oh, looked yeah. like, you remember I said it was brown? So we were upstairs and uh, Ashley heard a creak and I kept looking over, like, cause I kept seeing someone. And um, Jamie, she was like, what do you see? You know, tell me. I was like, okay. So I kept seeing this woman in a brown dress with really tiny feet. And she had like brown hair as well and it was up and she was kind of looking over the rail then walked away and as that happened Ashley heard like a creak and I heard footsteps and then I heard her like final step like creak on the yeah like stop the at the railing almost so I saw her I, we weren't sure who that was there are a lot of antiques in here so and this is built on Native American ground right mm -hmm. is that the wetlands? the wetlands I'm really being drawn to upstairs Make sure you guys check out the Heritage Museum and donate if you guys can, you know, help them out. Such an odd yeah, and this mast was taken from an old abandoned ship. So this whole mast that goes up. to us, I want to go up there. 
because when she was talking to us and she was getting ready to go down, I felt like there was someone standing over right. us, like looking down. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the little girl, she kept pointing mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you scared me. Anyone got bunions that they need reducing? Because here you go. This room we feel really nice in, like they don't really experience a lot in this room. Maybe it's because Hiram was like not as intense. It's like rattling. Yeah, I was like, what is that? You hear that, right? Yeah. We're both, both yeah, are Yeah, we're not still. moving. So the boy was sitting here and mm -hmm. he pointed up to the attic and was like, why is she up there? I really want to go up there. I feel like she wanted us like that. I know, I think so too. I get that vibe. Ashley's been a bad girl. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you heard that, right? What? It's something creaked on the top of Oh, there. I thought that was you. No, I didn't move. I'm right here. It was up there. It's like she's waiting for us. Alright, I said we go for it. <laughs> Bro, these stairs are so weird. Kelsey. What was that there? They're so weird. They're so weird. That was loud too. Okay. <laughs> My butt. That's it, like nice and juicy. Whoa. Oh my god, I know. The energy is so weird up here. Yeah. Like so off putting. It's kind of like it helps you look over the whole house. I think she's here. Yeah, but it, it sounded like when we were at the bottom that something creaked like this. Yeah. All right, we came up here. You want to talk to us? I'm calling out to the little girl. You wanted us to come up here. Are you able to cross these rods in my hand? You can cross one over the other. Oh, she did it. <laughs> Woo, she's strong. I feel like this thing's about to go off. You can do it. Good job. <laughs> Who do you think she is though? Like, they said that the other little girl died at like 19. Oh, wow. yeah. I'm not, I don't know. I honestly almost feel like it is, but it's like, maybe she like presents herself as a little mm -hmm. girl to like the younger crowd because they say that she only really shows herself to like young yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, like small children. And then earlier when I saw like this blonde lady, it looked like she was a little bit older. So I don't know if maybe they see her up here as a little, or like just children see her as a little girl. You know what I mean? Like I'm not really yeah. sure if she presents herself different or what it is. Oh. I don't know if that's confirmation or what that is. Are you a Wahoo? So they think that a Wahoo was the nanny's daughter 
but like Helen raised her as hers. Helen's husband had like an affair with like the nanny. Maybe Was it the nanny that she caught them? I think so. Can you tell us your name, the little girl? Yeah, I can hear you. Are you a Wahoo? Can you cross the rods for yes and open them for no? Are you a Wahoo? Do you think she could be scared because Helen's here? Maybe. And Helen didn't like her. Maybe. Oh my god, look. She's saying yes? Yeah. That's why maybe she wanted us to go oh, up. Away from her, yeah. Wow. That would make sense, actually. I wonder if she still, like, torments her in yeah. the afterlife. Probably, honestly. Like, she seemed very, like... Even when That's Helen like, came, it's like the husband stepped back. Like, he, yeah. you know. Are you scared of Helen? <laughs> She's scared to answer. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it said yes. I yeah. I wonder why she hasn't like, moved on, like why she's still here. She did die at a young age. They say that she died at around 19, so maybe that's why she hasn't quite moved on. I think you came to me when I was little, actually. A long time ago. Do you remember? to the like, toy room now. I feel movement down like down this area yeah. and I keep hearing things but I don't know quite what. It's like she's kind of just playing with us mm -hmm. like kind of like like go here now go here yeah, now you know me. like follow me. Is that a picture of her? So this one's a wall. She's cute. She's really cute. Aww. And this one was Helen. Leonard. And then this was the girl that she had to get her leg amputated and stuff. Like she was not treated very well by Helen. Sad. And that was her room. I guess it's really small. They don't let people in it because they just use it as like storage now. But her room was like tiny apparently. This is the room I had an experience when I was little with, I believe it was Oahu. Look how many dolls there are. This one's kind of creepy, dude. Yeah. And then this doll gives me so many weird vibes. So this is like a doll that people would make after their children passed away, kind of like as a memory doll. The back of the head's flat because like they lay it down, you know, as a resting way. And that's real human hair on that doll used, I think, from whoever passed away. I feel a lot from this doll, honestly. Not so much these ones, but this one, I was really drawn to it. I wonder if it ever moves. Could you imagine it just turns its head? That'd be so freaking creepy. And these are all their like original toys, Helen's old glasses. Wow. Because on our field trip, we would come in and they would give us like 10 minutes to play with the toys. So I was playing with the toys and I was sitting right here. That was me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was sitting right here. I remember playing with something. I don't remember what I was playing with, but she like came up to me and she was like, I like that one or some something weird. I don't remember what she said. It was something about the toy. But I was like just sitting here and I was kind of confused because when I was younger, I didn't really understand my gifts. I didn't, they just kind of scared me. I didn't really get it. So I was just confused you know I didn't really say anything about it but that's what I really remember and I don't remember what she looked like or anything but it was just like I remember there being a little girl and I remember feeling like she's not alive you know she's not she's not in my class like who is this girl I'm just weirded out by that doll that was the first thing I saw when I walked in this room yeah, and then she's like oh like, it has human hair to that doll <laughs> like, for some um, reason. we're calling out to Oahu if you're here it's not like it sounds like a Hawaiian name well, that's where the nanny was from 
who's from Hawaii. Yeah, oh. he brought the nanny from Hawaii over here. Nanny that I think it's when Oh, I was like my big booty. <laughs> <laughs> Did she come back pregnant? I'm like so confused. So I, I think what she had said was he went on a trip to Hawaii. Hello. <laughs> he went on a trip to Hawaii, brought back a nanny home here to help take care of all the kids. And then she caught them in the bedroom, mm -hmm. you know, doing what they shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> doing the dirt. <laughs> and then nine months later, Oahu was born and Helen sent the nanny back. Oh. So it would make sense that it was most likely the nanny's and... Not hers. Yeah. The name makes sense too. Right. And, and then she sent her to boarding school, right? Or was that... That was the other one. That was the other one. Yeah. Helen just was not a good <laughs> chain. <Anything. laughs> I don't like Helen, I'm sorry. Did your brothers used to play in this room? Oh, oh yeah. I don't really feel like the brothers are here. I wonder if they like lived on and like moved somewhere else or like she didn't really mention them. Yeah. They were sure. were they twins? It looked like they were like twins on that photo. I know. Oahu, are you here? Can you cross the rod? Like you did earlier? Okay. Oh, no. uh, tap my Bro. Oh, it like made it itch. Did you just tap my head? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. She thought it was funny. Her Helen. Whoa. Is it Helen in here with us? <laughs> Helen, if that's you, can you make it stop? There's also the little girl named Helen, too. The mean red-headed Helen. <laughs> I was talking about the doll. Is there a spirit with that doll behind us? Something about the doll. Yeah. Get the doll. Yeah. I was like, get the doll. I want to see their family drinks. I want to see their family drinks. Oh, the other one's here. Oahu, do you know the spirit that's with the doll behind me? They're a sad spirit. Yes. He knows. Is the spirit that's with the doll behind us here as well? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to turn around because I feel it. <laughs> you're talking. Yeah. I legit hear people having a conversation. It sounded like a woman was talking to someone, but I couldn't hear the other one. There's definitely a lot in this house. Yeah. It's just like overwhelming. I was scared just walking by myself. I felt I anxious. Know. Yeah. It's like they're trying to show themselves as happy, but like there was just so much behind the scenes that it's... So dark. It's dark. Like it's like it feels happy, but dark at the same time. But it's like there's someone here that people just like, Helen, it's like she ran the house and these spirits are just like they kind of go around her like if she comes in they leave you know like it's kind of strange it's like she runs it here like she is the boss guys helen is here and she's pissed because we were just talking like <laughs> Off -camera talking we were talking to smack on her you know and then she started coming through and not stopping, and not this. stopping this thing yeah <laughs> literally a lot of insecurity yeah. a lot of jealousy a lot of negativity just around her and she's like that in the afterlife too she's just super negative and bossy and uh, she just gives me the worst vibe like i really don't like her and she doesn't like us either it's mutual yeah when she started talking about her she was like yeah she was like that. i don't want to hear you talking yeah. snack on me <laughs> dude oh my god <gasps> I heard something she behind she us. Came she in. came back in. Like That's what I heard. Right? Okay, she left and then she stepped back in. Yeah, she like stepped back in. That was weird. I want to tussle.
You want to tussle? You want to get going, Helen? Because I'm ready. Take my earrings, Ashley. <laughs> Hold my purse. Yeah, you can tell she did not like that. And then no. she, like, came back yeah, and, like, she was like, excuse me? me? Helen, you need, to, you need to let people be at peace in here. Everyone's walking on eggshells because of you in here, and it's not good. Why do you do that? Why do you want to be that negative? You need to stop with it. I felt like it got dimmer in here and I don't Yeah, think. right? Helen, stop. Now. Do you want us to leave, Helen? <laughs> God, she's like irritating. Mm -hmm. Even with the REM pod. <laughs> okay, I like dude. <laughs> I know Ashley's laying on the floor, but that's going off. <laughs> That wasn't you, right? No, I didn't touch it. I didn't move my hands. Look at. That was me. weird. Oh, yeah. Like this. Let's see. Oh my God! Look. I can see it on the ceiling. Helen, if that's you, can you light it up a different color for us? Whoa, dude. <laughs> oh my God. She's like mad, dude. Can you make it purple? She's like, don't tell me what to do. If I purple, I'm Oh my god, it goes purple. Yeah, all I have to say is this house is definitely haunted, and Helen is definitely here. 1,000%. That was the first wife. That was the love right, of his life. Right, okay. right. This was the love of his life, but she died. Um, so then he remarried and married Helen. Yeah. Maybe Helen had like something wrong with her like I don't know. That's the only thing that would make sense to me I don't know. I don't like you Helen. Please don't push me downstairs. <laughs> Ashley just goes flying <laughs> Ashley's like shit. Oh, oh no, you did it. <laughs> oh my gosh Did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. I was just doing a b-roll <laughs> shot like, oh. Yeah <laughs> Oh my god Did you hear that? What was that? It's it sounded in here. But it sounded like maybe behind us Did you hear a giggle? Yeah. Like it sounded like there was wind right in my ear, but it was like, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, no, not, that was not near the window. That it was, was like, really okay. weird. Yeah, I'm not farting. Oh my it's <laughs> Ashley, excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> okay, we were just doing a thumbnail, and we both looked at each other because we heard a loud like clink in here. Hello. Can you make that noise again? <gasps> Bro! Did you do that? Did you knock on the wall? Please tell me you walked on the I'm wall. I'm over here. That came from behind you. How would I get on? Please tell me you knocked on the wall. Dude, that was loud. That <laughs> scared the shit. Like, I thought you knocked like on that wall. No. It, hurt, it sounded like it came from deep in that room. They had to use a lot of energy for that because that was loud. Helen, was that you? Oh my god, I don't, did I touch that? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I touched that. I think I did. I hope you did. I think it was my backpack. I hope that was... Your back. I think it was. I think it was. It oh, that scared me. Now we're getting scared. I'm kind of scared. Helen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Helen, you know, we'll agree to disagree. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> no, I almost shit myself. 
I almost squatted down right there and shit on the floor. That's what just almost just happened. For him. Just for him. This is Jamie. Hi. Oh my goodness. And Orville. Hi. Orville like sees spirits in here. I feel like Helen. We felt like Helen didn't like dogs. Yeah. So maybe he gets weird. Oh, the Dee Right with my butt. <laughs> He says I like you, but oh, he says I like you. Do you not like Helen? I don't like her either. Say I don't like Helen. Say I don't like her. That was such a crazy experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out the Heritage Museum of OC. Their socials are down below. Big shout out to them for allowing us to come and film in the Kellogg House. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Also hit that notification bell so you guys know when I post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.